in this lecture i will give details stress in a chain link so consider a chain link as shown in figure so this one is your a chain link so in this case let r be the mean radius of the semi circular ends so this one is your r r is your mean radius of the semi circular so here there are two semi circular section which is joined with the two straight side so this is one straight side this is another straight side so it becomes a chain links so a is your what this one is your a distance a is your length of the straight side so see there are in chain link also two fiber one is your inside fiber and one is your outside fiber one is your the middle one is your centroidal axis or geometrical axis so similarly here a tensile load is acting and m1 moment and m2 m1 and m2 are the moment uniform and moment generated in the chain link so next is how we can get the different expression generated in a chain link you just remember so first one is your moment m1 m1 is your uniform bending moment generated in the chain link so you remember this expression expression is w into r square by pi minus r square by 2 minus square by 2 divided by r plus a plus square divided by pi k square plus r square by is sorry a plus a square by r similarly this one is your expression for m2 where k is your radius of gyration i is your moment of inertia so you have some idea about that is i is equals to moment of inertia is equals to a k square so this one is your area moment of inertia so k is your radius of gyration so radius of gyration so radius of gyration is defined as the distance from the axis of rotation to a point where the total mass of the body is support to be concentrated so this one is a definition of radius of gyration you just remember this one so next expression is how you can calculate strain develop in this chain link so this one is your expression so by this expression we will calculate epsilon 0 so epsilon 0 is your strain develop inside the curve beam so final expression is this one is your final expression how we can calculate the stress develop inside the chain link so you remember this expression for calculation of stress so thank you